Hello everyone and thanks for joining me for another episode of my VR Voyage Across the Galaxy. Um, I haven't been uh, playing for quite a while, I haven't released one of these videos for quite a while because I've been fairly busy lately. Um, also had a bit of a cock up with my video recording software, it went um, it went through an update process and for some reason the, uh, um, it, the behaviour with it recording the VR stream changed and when I thought I was recording stuff I actually wasn't so all of the sessions leading up to this point um, when I went to review my footage I found to my horror that it didn't actually exist in the first place so um, I've, uh, I've had some interesting things happen uh, leading up to this point uh, one of which was I found a vulture parked on a planet in the middle of nowhere which was a bit strange um, another thing is um, as you can see by the state of my hull I crashed my ship into a bunch of stuff which uh, didn't help my um, goal of maintaining the longevity of my hull and um, and I also got my car stuck on a planet which I was stuck there for a long long time because the train was just totally bonkers and I, I, I ended up having to reset it by uh, playing in 1.7 and jumping back to orbit um, but anyway I can't show you any of that because the footage never existed in the first place so um, you're just gonna have to bear with me and I'm just gonna crack on and see hopefully if I can find anything interesting so I'm on my way to that nebula up there which has got a funky name I can't remember what that is off the top of my head but I'll have a look now on the galaxy map um, now I am of course running version 2.2 um, which came out about a week ago now I think and um, I'm not going to ramble on about it because there's already a billion videos online about 2.2 and all of the cool stuff that's in it but um, suffice to say I can't actually partake in a lot of it because I'm out exploring and a lot of it's to do with ship, ma uh, ship launch fighters or chucking people in your luxury uh, cabins and taking them around the galaxy and stuff but can't do any of that so uh, but what I can show you is some really cool and handy things which um, helps uh, exploration um, one of which is um, the ability to, uh, or the, the game's ability now to save your route. So um, if, if like I've plotted a thousand light year route and then I get bored halfway through and quit, um, when I log back in, it's all saved for me. So it says there, access galaxy map to replot route. So if I go ahead and do that. We go flying through the sky, and there it is, there's my original route. So obviously I've just logged in, and that's all been nicely saved for me. Great! So, there's a nebula which I'm ploughing toward. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I'll have a go. So, blah, hypey, aa, dash, ah, 68. Um, I don't believe that there's a real-life counterpart to that one. I think it might just be a, a sort of game-made-up thing, or maybe it's got a different... Um, designation in the real galaxy. Not sure, haven't been able to dig up any information, but I'm going to go and rummage around in that anyway. Um, let's just get going. As a cool little graphic, given the sort of status of the engine fire up as well, that's new to 2.2. Landing gear retracted. As well as the fact that my landing gear is actually down when I logged in instead of up, which was a bug before. So this this planet wasn't too interesting. It's just somewhere that I park the ship to uh, log out. So of course um, the other new aspects of 2.2 involve uh, geological features like um, fumaroles on planet surfaces and uh, uh, water geysers and other stuff. There's also um, a hint toward. Um, uh, probably um, what I'm assuming is alien um, originated stuff so they in their uh, release notes they had the, the, the entry mysterious things which I thought was pretty cool um, so I don't know what that exactly means but um, hopefully I'll find some um, what else what else has happened uh, ba -doo -doo -ba -doo, nothing really oh yeah I burned another couple of heat sinks crashed into a few uh, another few stars yeah, it's all pretty standard stuff, really, for a, uh, someone who's not paying attention. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to survive much longer, actually. Um, uh, in terms of where I am in the, the grand scheme of things, just uh, give you a quick look at that. So between where I 
started from, which was Kalshpus, um, headed up to VY Canis Majoris there, and then over to the Catspaw, and then over to CL Primus 3, and then I am now at that location, which is roughly halfway between where I started and where I'm trying to get to, which is the center of the galaxy. Well, at least for now, anyway, I might end up over there somewhere, hopefully. If I haven't blown my ship up, which is highly likely. So, getting on with it. 2.2 uh, also presents me with this um, security status, which could be handy in sort of combat situations, I suppose. And also the class of the star that I'm heading to, which oh, is, is great for exploration. And the ship does this little auto align as well, which is pretty cool. And then there's the new hyperspace sequence, which is pretty cool in VR, I must say. It's very, 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 very dense, um, which uh, gives you a fantastic sense of movement, much more so than the, the old one used to. And then there's the star itself, which you can see heading toward you ever so slowly as you're warping toward it. Uh, Scott Manley phrased it quite well the effect of the new hyperspace sequence and he described it as uh, space confetti which I thought was a very apt way of describing it. That's pretty cool. I like a bit of space confetti. So I've been orbiting this rock for um, a little while and I'm just having a look because this um, particular world has got uh, water features on it and I'm not entirely sure how to find these things the way I understand it is you've got to drop out of orbital cruise and then have a look on your scanner for points of interest so I'll do that in a second but first of all I'm just gonna take a little trip around it because uh, I want to admire the the surface topology of this craggy rocky ice world and as well as that we're getting a really fantastic show here with the the, uh, the scenery from the galactic center it's absolutely phenomenal. It looks like the thing, the whole, the whole sky is on fire. It's f absolutely fantastic, and the VR is, uh, it's indescribable actually. Um, so th I mean, the surface looks really, really interesting, but it's actually fairly indicative of, of uh, an ice world, I suppose. The uh, the big deep fissures where um, water used to run. Either way, water used to run. Always large icy plates, which are uh, sort of separating. Entirely sure how this is for, but that sky is just absolutely insane. Yeah, so I've been crawling around the surface for um, a good while, and I just have not found a single thing. So, according to the scan data, there is uh, water geysers on this world, but haven't come across any. So, I'm just going to uh, point my ship at the next system and crack on. I think crack on toward the nebula. It's a really pretty world, this. Really, really pretty, but nothing, uh, nothing interesting to report, I'm afraid. So, without further ado, onwards. Alrighty then. So, I just jumped into this system, and I'm about ten jumps away from. Uh, the nebula which is my original destination however I've just been mucking about in the galaxy map and I've noticed that there is a neutron star nearby so um, I've changed my course and I'm gonna go and head to that I think yep it's about it's 10 jumps away as well so it's kind of equidistant um, so unfortunately this will probably take me past the nebula and I will probably go a bit beyond it so I probably won't go in there because it'll it means I'll have to sort of come back on myself uh, however, I'm more interested in seeing a neutron star than I am the Fresh nebula, so um, let's head toward that and see what it's like. Hopefully it'll be one of the cool pulsars and it'll have stuff flying out of its poles, um, but it might not. It might just be a, a normal one. Uh, we shall see. Okay, so I'm just fueling up. Fuel scooping complete. 
in this system. So I am now one jump away from the Fuel neutron star, which is over there. Um, I have flown clean past the nebula. Well, actually, I'm sort of adjacent to it by the, look, by the looks of things. Uh, so it's over there. So I could actually kind of just head in there, I guess, but we'll see. Um, so onwards to this star. Now, I don't know what to expect here because um, uh, these stars are super dense objects so hopefully I won't break any more of my ship but here it goes so it's a class N um, I'm wondering if N stands for non-sequence because it is a non-sequence star So it's got a very bright sort of corona around it by the looks of things. It's very blue, very white. And there's, there's, there's a line all the way across the screen there. Look look at that. Seriously. That's uh, that's pretty impressive. I'm going to throttle right back now. Oh, wow, there it is. <laughs> oh my god, that's incredible. So it is a pulsar. And... I'm, I'm far right back. I'm just uh, staying completely still because I don't want to get too close to these uh, jets of high energy particles which are flying off of this thing. Neutron star. Right, so I'm just going to move my ship around here. It's making a really cool noise. It sounds like a waterfall. Oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> so here we go. I'm I've already crashed into it. So evidently it's got a very um, big um, area in which the ship will uh, drop out a supercruise around it much more, much larger than I expected. Um, so what exactly is that? Well it's the remnants of um, a very large star. So if you remember uh, or if you've been watching this series of videos. One of my first stops was at VY Canis Majoris, which was a um, a red hypergiant, and this kind of star is what results when that kind of star dies. So as the outer layers of the star blow off, um, all the inner material condenses down under the weight of its own gravity, and um, becomes a, a very small but extremely dense object with massive gravitational uh, massive gravitational fields and this particular one is expelling jets of high energy particles I think, I think they're usually x-rays or, or gamma rays and um, they usually expel them out of their poles but they're observable from Earth sometimes as a, a flashing you can um, when the, when the, these jets of high energy particles pass Earth, you can see them flash. Well, obviously you can't with the naked eye, you need a gigantic telescope or something I imagine, but um, they're, they're sometimes referred to as lighthouse stars. So I'm going to try and uh, break free of its... Frameshift drive charging. ...of its um, pull here. Before I break cook my ship, so let's... Give a heat sink. Four, three, Deploy two, one of the heat sinks. One, engage. I'll try and um, <laughs> move away a little bit. But <laughs> yeah, absolutely phenomenal. It's really, really strange to see that next to my ship. So I'm just going to back away from it. I'm going to try and take my ship around, let's give this system a scan, take my ship around the ends of the, uh, so there's 21, 21 bodies in this system, so it might be interesting to see what this thing looks like from a planet surface, so I'm just going to bring my ship around it, oh look at that, that's incredible, from this angle it just looks so strange, almost alien. It's like a, an infinity sign constantly drawing itself. That is so cool. 
So this is obviously one of the um, the new features that they've added in 2.2, this particular effect. I think before that neutron stars were just very small stars which everyone crashed into because they didn't realise how small they were. So I don't know what will happen to my ship if I try and fly through those energy vortices, but I don't really want to find out because I'm already in bad shape. And now I've depleted another heat sink. But um, that's a spectacle to behold. So let's um, take a, a look out of the window here and see just amazing in, in VR as well it's really really um, surreal it really feels like there's something very odd just just in front of my face and the light that's coming off it is crazy it's um it might not show up on the video but it's far more violet than any light that I've encountered in from any other star I mean, white blue stars in, 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 with the headset on are very bright. They're so bright you can't really even look at them directly. But this is a very strange sort of light. It's not bright, but it's odd. <laughs> I can't explain it any better than that. It's just odd. Odd in a good way. Just wondering at what range we can see the jets. So I'm also perceiving a distortion like that generated by a black hole. And that's quite interesting because obviously the next stage of this kind of a stellar phenomenon is a black hole. Or not that this will progress into a black hole, but a supermassive star that will create this could also end up as a black hole. A singularity. Yeah, so we're getting that that lensing effect as well, which is very interesting. Visible against the uh, the stellar glass of the galactic centre, or some of it. It's just uh, a fantastic spectacle. I actually sort of expected these jets to extend a lot further. Fly my ship through them a little bit. Now, I am tempted to just try to fly through them, but I don't know what it will do. FST operating beyond safety limits. Okay, that's um, oh shit, I've lost control. It's uh, causing all sorts of turbulence. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's interesting. So then, that's um, a neutron star from a VR perspective. Um, I've parked the ship in alignment with the uh, jets of energy just at the end of them to sort of see this cool swirly whirlpool effect a little bit closer up. And up there is the nebula that I was originally heading to, which I think I am just going to bypass now. Um, so I'm going to leave the video here, so thank you very much for joining me, and I've got a couple more of these uh, neutron stars and a black hole bookmarked up, so um, look forward to seeing if there's any differences or anything unusual, um, or anything 
2.2 is added to those uh, along the way. So hopefully you'll join me for that and uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.